had a question about hanging idle on the 449 type motors in the Husqvarna 449 511 models, uh, CCM GP450 and the BMW G450X. So uh, what is it and uh, how do we get around it? This is the throttle body from the 449 model bikes. As viewed from the left side, you can see where the throttle cables come in here, and that's the primary throttle. Uh, all that's fairly standard. Um, you can see up the top here a cam, so that is connected on the other side of the bike to this electric secondary throttle butterfly motor. You can see in the top of the throttle body here there's another butterfly, the primary butterfly operated by your hand. Uh, via the cables is fairly regular fare, normal throttle down the bottom, but the upper one is essentially a fly-by-wire throttle controlled by the computer. So I'm about to do something you shouldn't do in the bike. Uh, this is a spare throttle. You shouldn't remove this uh, throttle motor in the bike. That should always remain on, so please don't remove that. Um, but just for the purposes of demonstration, so you can see that moving this top shaft and the butterfly here has bearing on that bottom throttle there. So uh, what that's doing by use of the motor when the ECU senses that you're back into an idle condition so your primary throttle is closed, your hand is off the throttle or you know closed throttle, uh, the ECU then moves this top shaft around and maintains idle speed. Um, so what happens in the hanging idle situation is for whatever reason um, and it was never fully located or rectified by Husqvarna or BMW back when the bikes were new but on some bikes, problem bikes, you're riding along the road merrily, everything's normal, you close the throttle, the system drives the throttle open to reduce engine braking and then built into the software is a decay, a period of time built into the software and it should have closed over a period of time and returned to a regular idle. For whatever reason, some bikes maintain that high idle condition. Now the throttle's not stuck as such, it just can't return because of this cam here. So a fix we came up with um, quite early on. Um, we couldn't find a fix, none of the dealers were able to help us. BMW never certainly came up with an idea of software change or whatever to cure it. Um, what we do is we use a Dremel or a small tool, grind this stud off this little roller that's in behind there that the cam operates on and we remove that axle and roller with a small punch and then this shaft can do whatever it likes and has no bearing on the primary throttle. So another thing while you're in there that will greatly improve the way the bike rides, you can see this butterfly is obviously controlling incoming air. The ECU needs the motor to be there, it's programmed to watch for problems with the motor and to that end it has this secondary throttle position sensor on it. It also checks the voltages and the resistances in the wires for the motor to make sure that there's no problem. So if you remove it then you'll have a fail warning come up on the dash to say that there's an ECU fault. So one of the things we can do is undo these two screws completely remove that butterfly plate. So the shaft is free to do whatever it wants. The ECU thinks everything's happy because the shaft's turning, it's getting readings, the motor's working, but this has no bearing on the incoming air to your motor and the throttle is as God intended, controlled by you and your hand and whatever you do with your wrist is what the air does coming into the motor. So if you close the throttle you get engine braking, if you go to 100% you get full air not waiting for a delay built into the computer for this to gradually open. So I have a second video about uh, the delays built into the system and I'll put a link in the description to that and you can see that working in uh, 240 frames a second slow-mo. So you'll be able to see that this closes sometimes when the main throttle is open and does all sorts of crazy things. So yeah, that's a, a hard fix. If you remove this roller then it cannot hang, the idle cannot hang unless it's a mechanical problem like a stuck throttle. Or check for that first obviously. Make sure the cable adjustments are right. 
if this throttle is returning with a nice solid thunk back to idle, then your problem is electronic. Now, once you've done that, obviously the bike can no longer maintain its own idle, and what you will need to do is adjust this brass air screw here. So it's a bypass from the top, fresh clean air from the air cleaner down to below the primary throttle. Allowing more air in by winding this screw out will raise the idle speed, obviously turning it in as the reverse and it will slow the engine idle. Um, so you should be able to find a happy idle speed where at warm idle it's not too fast, but on a cold start it will just maintain idle. So you may need to fiddle around with a little bit on my own Husqvarna 449. I've found that uh, something like 2000 to 2100 RPM is perfect idle speed for them. They don't have a whole lot of flywheel weight on that model bike, um, so they need a fairly quick idle speed, much less than that, and they're fairly chattery and noisy. And so there you go. Uh, that's one way to cure the hanging idle. It's the only way I'm aware of. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, scary times, closing the throttle maybe 1 in 10 times, maybe 1 in 20 times you'll end up with the throttle hanging on and being driven straight ahead towards the corner that you're trying to avoid or the obstacle. So, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>